Hi everybody, I'm Graham and welcome back to Thoughts from Crystal Street. Once again, doing the project solo as Tannen and Sammy are drinking somewhere. And I assume it's about a 50-50 chance if we'll ever see them again. Hmm, so sad. Anyways, uh, so for this week I thought that maybe I would talk about two topics. Uh, one will kind of lead right into the other. So let's start off with my first topic. It's a wonderful time to be a nerd right now. I don't know, just when I read comments on the internet, I don't know if people realize how lucky we are right now if you are a quote-unquote nerd being around right now because it is unprecedented how much content is out there for us. It used to be we were limited to comic books and video games, and I've been collecting, or comic books and cartoons and video games, I should say. Um, I've been collecting comics since I was pretty young. I'm not a hardcore uh, collector, and I haven't collected, unfortunately, in a long time. Um, but I used to be, a, you know, a, a 20 book plus a month guy. And, I mean, that got expensive. But I enjoyed collecting. I enjoyed reading. Um, and I still do. I, I don't get as many books as I used to, but I'll pop in and I'll get one every now and again. Uh, but I remember growing up... You know, if, if I wanted something of, of the things that I enjoyed, Spider-Man or, or X-Men or Batman, it was basically I had the cartoons, and that was all. Um, and, and I mean, don't get me wrong, those cartoons were great at the time. Batman the Animated Series has aged exceptionally well. Um, it's still great to go back and watch, uh, even today. Spider-Man, I, I don't think aged as well, and I'm talking about the, uh, the Fox series that was on during the 90s. That one did not age nearly as well. I haven't watched the X-Men in a while. Um, I'm kind of curious to see if that still holds up today. But that was it. You know, there weren't TV shows. I mean, we got the occasional movie. Like, we had Batman, and then, you know, we had Ninja Turtles. But that was it. It wasn't where we were getting such a constant supply of new content that we truly enjoyed. Um, it was, of course, X-Men that that kind of brought it into the mainstream like hey these could work as movies but even early on looking back a lot of them were very very flawed um uh, of course the x-men other than kind of using the character names they kind of derailed from the source content uh you know daredevil was a lot of people call it a god-awful movie i don't think it's that bad um but it was definitely not a great movie the fantastic fours are very uneven uh, the first two Spider-Man, I think, got it right, but then, of course, three was a disaster. Uh, but still, we were limited to now movies. It was going to be every summer we got maybe one or two cool comic book movies. And there were still cartoons coming out. Uh, you know, uh, Justice League, Young Justice, uh, the original Teen Titans uh, were all very good comic book shows. And, but it was still limited to cartoons. The, the only live action shows I could think of as far as comic book went were two, and they both got canceled within a season, and that was uh, The Tick, which I thought was awesome. I'm still upset to this day that that did not get at least a second season. And um, a, a Generation X, which was, the of course, that, that particular X-Men group that had, like, Emma Frost and Jubilee and it was a I, I can't remember if it even got more than just the pilot or if maybe there were four or five episodes something like that but those are the only ones that I recall there there might have been a few I'm missing and you know I I try to stay up on pop culture but I'm not perfect so you know if I'm missing some hey post them down below you know down there in those comments I like comments so post them down there if I'm missing something prior to let's say 2000s if I'm missing something there um but it was, I mean, really, you got to look at, of course, things changed when Iron Man came out. Iron Man started this concept of a continuous universe that, yes, these movies were still only coming out in the summer, but they were connected. There was this intertwining thread. And at the end of it, you got the Avengers, which was bitching that nothing like that had been done. But still, it was only the summertime until three years ago and that changed with arrow and well okay i you know i guess i do have to step back because there's obviously smallville um 
we we did have Smallville on the CW, and we had Birds of Prey on that as well. But we don't like to talk about Birds of Prey. Uh, Smallville, of course, was for being the only show we really had. It was I thought it was okay. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it. I really like it after season six when they really start to bring in the rest of the universe, and you had you know Aquaman, Thad Castle, and. Uh, and Cyborg, and, and of course Green Arrow, uh, was first represented on, on that show. And I thought that that was a good show, and it, and it hit some good ideas. But of course it was, again, a, a major stri uh, major variation from the comic book story. And I, I think at the end they tried to bring it back and back and back, and I don't know. It, it was hit or miss. But that was, and I did, I up until, actually I'm filming right now, I had forgotten about Smallville. And that was at least a decent attempt to give us something. But Arrow really changed the game, because Arrow was well done, and I remember reading in the first season that they weren't going to do superpowers, which I thought was a mistake. I, I, you're, you're licensing this product, why not use it to its fullest advantage? And, and luckily, they abandoned that, and, and they brought Arrow into a proper DC universe. And it's been great, because then from there, a couple seasons later, we got Flash, and now we've got another show on the way, and, you know, Fox is, or not Fox, but ABC's brought out Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Agent Carter, and iZombie, uh, and a few other, you know, uh, Constantine. We're starting to get more and more of these shows, which is awesome, because I, we talked about this before, but I think that television is a perfect medium for comic books, because you can have more stories more often, and I really think that that's a great thing. Um, and... and reading comments though on the internet it, it is true the internet is just a place where nobody can ever be happy because now the argument is is flash better than arrow is arrow better than flash are do are there too many shows was agent carter necessary who cares if they're necessary who cares which one's better just thank the lord above we've got them we have our shows for fuck's sake and we've never had them before so i to those out there that are wondering, is it too much? I just have to say, man, enjoy it while it lasts. Because, I mean, we've been famine forever. Let's enjoy it while we have the feast. Uh, so that brings me into my second topic, which talking about more and more shows. I wanted to talk about Powers, which is now premiering on I guess Sony's streaming service? I, I, I don't know how best put it. I'm a PlayStation Plus member, so I can just watch it from my PlayStation. I don't know how everybody else watches it, or if you can watch it any other way. I, I've got two things I kind of want to talk about with Powers. One, it is a fantastic show. If you can watch it, take the time to do so. Because uh, the acting, the script, everything on that show is awesome uh, eddie izzard as wolf oh my god he's so good and just there's nothing about that show i don't like except if sony is trying to get into what i'm guessing is the netflix or i'm even reading they're trying to get into the cable business i do not understand releasing these episodes once a week like regular television because it's not like regular television it's not like i'm waiting you know, there's after Powers, there's going to be another show. It's just, I'm going on to watch Powers. So the one thing I'm kind of curious about with this whole service is, why not do like Netflix? Why not just release the whole season and let your people binge? Because that's the advantage of services like Netflix and these online uh, streaming services is binging. We get to watch as much or as little at once of the show as we want. And I think by making us wait week after week for these episodes for a online release show i don't think that that's the proper format maybe that's just me and i'm impatient because the show is so good and i want to watch the rest of it but i just don't see that being a good model i mean uh daredevil is going to have the entire season available when it releases next month so i just don't understand powers not going through the same uh, type of system but again if you have your place if you have playstation plus you really should be watching powers it is awesome i think that's it i think that's all i want to talk about this week so hopefully next time tandem will be here hopefully we'll both be in the same state at once but 
that's yet to be seen, of course, because I don't even know if he's going to make it back. So, once again, I'm Graham. This was Thoughts from Crystal Street, and we'll see you next week. Have a good one.